バイオテロそれはまさに今そこにある脅威ウイルスが悪用され悲惨な事件や事故が次々と起きているのですこの状況を救ってくれるのは誰でしょう今日のために魂を売り渡す政治家ですか儲けのために平然と消費者を裏切る企業ですかいいえ私どもにお任せください我々は権力に臆することなく常に世界を見守りいつでも恐怖に立ち向かう用意を整えていますそしてバイオテロや薬害の被害者を救うため日々戦っているのですわれわれの名は NGO 団体テラセイブ世界を恐怖から救うためわれわれと共に立ち上がりましょう。お疲れ様。クレア。よ、クレア。クレア。クレア。モイラ。ようこそテラセイブへ。<笑>クレアレッドフィールド先輩いじめないでね<笑>やめてよ友達でしょだからふざけてんのよちょっとクレアいいかな何にいる合衆国で気になる動きがある何か聞いてるかえ新種のウイルスどうしてトライセルは壊滅したはず違うニールあれがバリーの娘かええ BSAA のコンサルタントバリー・バートンのねでも彼女には言わない方がいいわよ父親のこと知ってるよあんまりうまくいってないんだろ<笑>すごいまるで探偵ね他にどれくらいプライバシーを侵害してるわけ俺もテラセイブを守るため敵も多いからなとにかく調教は頼むぞ<笑>調教って馬じゃあるまいしやれやれ<笑>なあにまだパパと冷戦中もう最悪よパパは私のやることなんだって反対するんだからテラセーブに入りたいって言った時も Hi, I'm Kurt from Hover House, and today I'm going to be playing some Resident Evil Revelations for a channel and a website called Need to Consume. And this is going to be up on their page, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, a let's play slash a review.、Um, I was given this game a little bit in advance to some other people, which is super cool.、Um, and So, I'm just going to be playing it. I'm just going to be playing and doing a little bit of commentary over the top,、uh, giving my opinion. And Vicky's here as well, so she might, might 
pipe up at some points. Who knows? <laughs> okay, I'm already off to a great start. I'm not knowing where I'm going. Already this game feels amazing um, in comparison to the old Resident Evils where it was very tank control. Uh, they've done an awesome job of just I don't know control layout and that is super responsive and it just doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game so far which is cool um, but at the same time I, I love the tank controls and the clunky awful shooting system that they had so I'd like to point out that I did set this to English but for some reason it's just completely bypassed that and is now in Japanese uh, that doesn't bother me because this game I believe should be played in Japanese anyway because Bioterra is just such a more awesome sounding name than Resident Evil. So luckily the subtitles are on because otherwise the oh neither, nobody would have any clue what was happening. So yeah this is Resident Evil Revelations episode one. Uh, like most games nowadays they seem to be breaking it up into different episodes. Um, some people think it's to milk as much money as they can out of a franchise. Other people think it's just a new way of storytelling. I honestly feel a little bit of both. Some games work really well with the episodes. Some games don't. Right, so, so far we've been taken by this unknown corporation. Um, and we're trying to figure out where we are and why we've been taken. I have... Barry's daughter with me somewhere, wherever she is, there she is, stuck on something, typical Resident Evil AI so far. So yeah, the uh, the cool system on this is the co-op split screen. Uh, not a lot of games now have local co-op and it's just, I, I love co-op games. Um, if you've seen my channel before, me and Vicky play a lot of couch co-op games together. Uh, I just believe they're super fun, and a lot of a lot of companies are killing that off. They don't like the idea of people playing together on their sofa. They think they can make more money out of people playing online together, which I guess they could. Okay, so it's kind of like um, with the the system of one person having the flashlight and one person having the weapon it reminds me of the doom free system um in the sense that on the co-op online you, one person would have the gun one person would have the light this place looks like it's seen better days now if it's true to other resident evil games the first zombie meeting won't be far past this point. Okay. Press, uh, <laughs> I pressed A to interact, but I'm just I'm just 360 in. Okay, there we go. Not 360 in, 180 in. That's that's me being retarded at mass. Okay, so that sounds like a zombie. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Magic. Like you knew. Yeah. I did play. A, I've played a little bit into this game just to get the idea of it because I think it's better to play a game um, just to get used to controllers instead of just going in blind and then having to learn uh, completely. With people, I find it boring for people to watch, so played a little bit into this game, but not too much. So, some of this is going to be a blind let's play, other parts isn't going to be okay. So, that zombie is he's having a whale of a time attacking some woman by the sounds of it. There he is. We're, we're obviously not going to have a battle with him yet. That girl isn't doing a very good job. Well, th this one with the flashlight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she. 
the tracking on the AI is all right. It's not great. She's just doing her own thing. Okay. She's like, <laughs> we can save that woman later. It doesn't matter. Okay, so RB is a quick heal system on this one, by the looks of it, with the hold RB to heal yourself instead of having to go into a menu and combining um, sprays. Wow, I can't see because of this woman and her flashlight. There you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So a very resident, old school Resident Evil look to things with the um, lot of red and blood and decaying, the evil demon light. So when I heard about this game coming out in the in the first place, I was super excited because I'm a big fan of the older Resident Evil games. I won't talk about Resident Evil 6 or Resident Evil Revelations 1 wasn't great either, but this one, this one seems to be a bit different. It seems to be a lot smoother to play. The graphics look great on it. Um, the character, the player models look awesome as well. They could have been better. They could have been worse to be honest. They could have been a hell of a lot worse. They've come a lot long way from, from where they were. Right, so um, I'm just going to go by instinct and say this door's locked. Yep. Because doors with giant stairways leading to a basement tend to be locked. Now I tend to I tend to not talk on um, cutscenes because some people get really annoyed at that. And I just think it's better just to not talk when a cutscene's happening because what's the point in having a cutscene if someone's just going to blabber over it? Do you know what this reminds me of? What? Saw. Yeah. Because you're being watched and things are like almost trick, like Staged. Sort of set up. Yeah, yeah. So she leant over and it fell off, like mm. the keys fell. Yeah, I know what you mean. And they're being watched, so. And we have these bracelets on that are tracking us. Yeah. Well, the experimenting clearly has gone wrong down here. Whatever they were experimenting on. So, I'm not sure how long I'm going to make each one of these videos. Uh, because I'm not 100% sure how long each part of the episodes are. But, I'm just going to record and see how it goes. I won't make them too long. Wow, the there's a there's a weird bug where she goes to interact with things and then stops. Ah, there's a token there. So if anyone is after the the medals or the tokens, I'm not sure what they're called in this game. There's one there as you're coming down this ladder. I honestly thought it was her just jumping up and down. So clearly she doesn't like guns. Okay, so we have the the light switching. Um, light switching. The character switching to force you not to just play as Claire the whole time, because. Claire has a gun, and I mean, most people are just going to sit and play as Claire. Mm -hmm. I know I would. But if you want to play with two people. Yeah, you have to share the horror. Um. Okay, right. Okay, zombie, first zombie. Oh my. I missed the shot, so I'm not. I'm not great at shooting in Resident Evil. But I do know the, the old shoot and knife tricks. Okay, there's a there's a second zombie. Wow, I missed I missed both shots. Didn't miss that one. 
Okay, we're gonna go in the room that the zombies busted out of because, as always, there's ammo hidden in these places. That's not a knifeable box. Myra's just run off. She's just like, screw you. I'm gonna see you later. She's like, you can deal with these Zambambinos on your own. She's just climbed back up that ladder, <laughs> I think. That's locked on the other side. Okay, I don't know how I... I don't know if I can shoot on a ladder. So I don't know how I get that otherwise. Unless I... How would I get that? How do I... Oh, unless I... Hold on, I'm going to go back down and just get this metal quickly. I think I can shoot it from the ground. What, the metal? Yeah. I should just jump down and realize like she's going to go back up again. No, I don't know how to get that. But anyway, I'll, I'll come back and get that metal at some point. No, it doesn't doesn't give me the option to jump down. Don't know if there's a way around to that side. I guess I could shoot it from up here when we go back. Uh, okay, so the scary dark room of murder it is probably going to have some zombies in. Okay, so it's just taught me how to evade. So that means there's going to be multiple zombies down this corridor. Um, Probably come out that door. I'm going to go in here and grab this herb and ammunition. There's a zombie. Okay, right. Let's uh, meet him in the corridor. So, oh, Jesus Christ, he was closer than I was expecting. These zombies are pretty fast. They are really fast. They are quite fast for walking zombies. Well, they can't walk and then they walk. Yeah, they see you and then they just sprint at you. I'm just wasting a hell of a lot of ammo here. Mm. Um, I shouldn't be. I'm messing up shots that I shouldn't be messing up. Okay, that guy clearly wants to fight. Make sure he's dead because you never know when a zombie is truly dead. Because in recent games, shooting them in the head isn't just enough. Especially the... Um, What's that? What's that? What the hell is that called? I can't remember what it's called. Some s Las Plagas. There you go. There's the nice little knife shooty combo. Shooty knife. Shooty knife knife. Secret herb. Check this last room just in case there's any herbs or handgun ammo. Get out of the way. She's very, um. She's quite annoying, really. Yeah, she's a bit of a pain. Ah, there we go. That's how we get the medallion. Or you could miss it completely like I do. <laughs> Yay, tower emblem. One out of eight. How do I reload? There you go. Sorry about that. My TV decided it wanted to go into standby. Okay, so... Right, we've now unlocked this. Oh, oh the music stopped. Shotgun, yeah. It's the the music stopping is sometimes uh, a sign of bad things to come because it leads you into a oh, false hope. Mm. Knifeable boxes here. You get a herb and so now we have three herbs up. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. You do all the work and I'll just do... <laughs> yeah, I'll just walk around this flashy light. So, yeah, she doesn't like... She doesn't like guns, but she likes melee weapons, um, which I think is a little bit more sadistic because at least with a melee weapon, at least with a gun, you can end somebody's life pretty quickly, where if you have a crowbar, you're just going to bludgeon that person to death. So, whatever her morals are. That looked like a little girl to me. Oh. 
know. They're, they're very generous with their ammo. Prior to previous Resident Evil games where they didn't really like to give you a lot of ammo. Uh, ammo is very hard to come by and you used to have to run past a lot of enemies. Oh, there's another flashing object down here. Wow, so much ammo. Oh, maybe there wasn't a flashing object. Maybe it was just my eyes. Oh, well, that's a little bit unassuring. Mm -hmm. We're in a prison. Knifeable box behind you as you come up the stairs. I can hear a Zambino. Okay, so clearly somebody is watching us. It's not just a case of everyone in this facility is dead. Jigsaw. Yeah. Kind of is jigsaw-ish. Nothing in there. Uh, maybe go upstairs? Haven't. I know I could go straight on there, but I'm just going to go for a little bit of a wonder. Because there might be some emblems around here that we might miss. Where is that? Down the stairs, I think. Oh, it's trying to get out. It's somewhere. in there. Oh. Can I open this door? Wow, he's he is angry. Did you hear what the lady said? Wow, there's another one there as well. Ooh. That bracelet. Yeah. Responds to fear. Ah. No, I wasn't paying too much attention to what that lady was saying. Okay, um, I don't think, there probably is an emblem around here, but I'm not going to find it. I'm just going to get out of here as quick as I possibly can. Leave Myra to be eaten by whatever weird zombies in there. Okay, so here we can see we have a cog puzzle. And it's going to relate to those things moving about. I can already tell you that. Something flashing. A book. So it's probably, I don't know if that's a collectible for an achievement or not, but I now know where it is. It's on that chair. Uh, wow. That looks uh, promising. 50 shades of grayish in this room. Okay, so here we can see that. Myra has a inventory of her own. It's a lot smaller than Claire's. It only has the five slots. Um, it's kind of useful to carry and stuff. I'm going to give her the healing stuff so she can run up and heal me because I'm not sure that AI... St I, don't, I don't think she takes damage as well as I do. I, as well as I do. I don't think she takes as much damage as I do. Uh, I'm going to upgrade the pistol's damage. Just due to, I think I have more ammo for the pistol, and I think the shotgun's gonna run out of ammo quicker just because it's a very powerful weapon. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna be the first part where we're gonna split. I don't know how long we're gonna split for because, again, Myra's only really got a crowbar, so if she runs into multiple enemies, she's not gonna be very helpful to, to herself. We've already split for about two seconds. Just magical that I had the key. Yeah, look, we, we literally split for two seconds. So, her, Myra's purpose there was just to unlock that door. Here we go. Clearly not that way. very hopeful, isn't she? Yeah, she... she I think it's because she's young. I think she's quite naive. Is that the word? Mm. That's the noise of a zombie. Okay, this this looks like we're going to have an encounter. Was there a flashlight? Yeah, there we go. Good shot. <laughs> it's just a, it's a shotgun. 
if I missed, I would be very upset at myself, and I think I'll just end the recording here. Yeah, he he had some bubonic plague-looking boils on his head, so I don't know if they're going to explode at any point and do splash damage on my character. I don't really want to find out. Hmm. He also has them. Oh god, I have to reload. Wow, I didn't reload. I forgot to reload. <laughs> so the shotgun, just like in other Resident Evil games, is quite OP. Uh, that's overpowered, if anyone doesn't know what OP stands for. Claire is ready. She's like, hmm. Gonna hunt me some elephants. Bring it on. Wow. I completely missed. Oh, I'm going to have to reload. He's quite slow moving though. So, does it go after Myra? She's young and supple. Bring that flashlight down here. <laughs> well, not. That's fine. Whatever. Can't you switch cam? Yeah, but then I'm pretty defenseless. Okay, so probably going to have to do some hunting for an item around here. That's just a book. I'll read anyway. Oh. Exploding bottle. I probably should have picked that up as Claire. Um, pass. Is it? Oh. Is that something shining on the floor? Yes. Okay, right, so I saw a stair set that's leading to the basement because basements are always the best place to go. Okay, so we have one zombie here. Okay, and a very big zombie. Okay, if you just want to move out of the way, Myra, um, that would be great. Okay, did, did damage to myself there. That dude is a big dude. Probably going to be... Maybe he's killable? Wow. He has a very long wind-up. Okay, that couldn't have killed him. I don't trust that guy. He's definitely not dead. But yeah, he's his back is his weak spot apparently. Found that one out. So there's the key that we needed for the door upstairs. Or is it this door? I think it. I don't know. We're, we're looking. We're trying to turn the power on as well. I think that blue dot might be where we need to be going. You'd imagine. Oh yeah, yeah. This door. Kind of bypass this. Okay, so here we're gonna have some spider crab. I think they're called spider crabs. These are based on real thing. I'm not gonna waste shotgun ammo here. In fact, I'm not even gonna waste normal ammo. I'm just gonna knife them. Um, okay, that's definitely a trash de uh, whatever it's called trash crusher. I'm gonna call it. Solid snake has been here. So the snake is confirmed. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be another bit where we have to split up. Yes, it is. Okay. So. Ah, the power. Oh, here we go. So blind and you know, left trigger makes him vulnerable. I'm gonna swing at him. Give a little bit of cover swings because I don't know how long it takes before he gets out of the blinded stance. Okay, trash compactor's clearly turned on. How convenient. Uh, I go across here because I think there might be something in the room where Myra has just killed this guy. 
No, just a uh, empty looking room. Unless Myra's got something to shine a light on. Yes, there it is. Topaz, no knifeable boxes. Emblems, nope. That was it, basically a topaz. Okay, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna end the first video here because it seems we've been going on for a while. Um, I've, I'm going to be playing through this whole whole stories as they come out week by week. Uh, probably going to break them into a couple of parts. Um, two or three, maybe. I don't want them to be too long because it just gets a bit draggy. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to Need to Consume. Um, check mine and Vicky's channel out, Hobo House. Uh, probably put a link down in the description. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, make sure to check the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye.